time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. Good evening. This is David Ross. May I introduce our co editors? for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope. Mr. William Bradford Huey, editor of the American Mercury, and Mr. Henry Hazlitt, editor of the Freeman and contributing editor of Newsweek magazine. Our distinguished guest for this evening is Mr. Robert C. Tyson, vice president and controller of the United States Steel Corporation. The opinions expressed are necessarily those of the speakers. Well, Mr. Tyson, as vice president of the U.S. Steel Corporation, which is the biggest of the steel companies, you're a very highly qualified spokesman for the industry in the present labor crisis. So I'd like to begin by asking you, why does the industry feel that the recommendations of the Wage Stabilization Board were unfair or unjustified? All of us know that the Wage Stabilization Board has recently made recommendations to settle this dispute, recommendations which are much higher in cost to the companies than any wage settlement either recommended by government heretofore or obtained by the union in collective bargaining. The what about the President's statement that uh, steel wages are just catching up with the rest of the country? The President in his statement